What a galang. I, 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 I am glad you asked about that 5-3 dice cast. It deals with nutrition, positive net nutritional value, the environment, and base point of departure sensitivity profile. In that span between first and last breath, nutrition influences quality of life in its essence to first do no harm. It does a body good. The societal frame work defending the right to life should be mirrored by stringent constraints governing quality of nutrition, the foundation of life, and consequences to violation of standards. Nature's standard process of procreation upon delivery determines the body to need no external technology to carry out the functions necessary for its perpetuation. Its own fine-tuned clock and incomparable engineering processes regulate the procedures of ingestion, mastication, assimilation, digestion, and excretion to its maximum benefit. The closer the food source is to natural origin, the dynamics of breastfeeding, for example, the better the process of assimilation, particularly with energetic, proactive, physical engagement in its acquisition. The body gets better the more its wealth of resources are utilized. An adequately nutritionally balanced male and female initiate the complexities of conception. Pregnancy presents a perfect window of opportunity to exercise a foundation of healthy lifestyle, develop associations with the body's nutritional needs, relationships of available sources, sensory patterns of identification and acquisition, and thus foster a discriminating appetite and dietary flexibility of this primal drive across the generation. It is critical to recognize that the standard of functionality of the respiratory and other autonomic systems, digestive, sensory, nervous, autoimmune, circulatory, are consolidated by the constituents in nature's specialized formulation delivered by infant's first food, the newborn baby's own mother's breast milk. People who were breastfed have higher IQ scores. Studies show higher education levels and earnings among those breastfed for a year compared to those breastfed for a month or less. Breast milk is now being researched for its perceived potential to treat everything from Crohn's disease to HIV susceptibility. The very core of development for clinical and psychopharmacology derives from the relationships of natural nutrients constituents to mental physiological balance. From conception to geriatric, any sustained initiative to eat and live according to the natural life cycle not only immediately improves potential for good health outcomes, but exponentially reduces dependencies on the medical manufacturing technologies and their myriad complications. Consider for variety, sustainability, and net nutritional value fresh fruit, vegetables, beans, legumes and tubers provide more readily assimilated components as popularly ascribed and many additional nutrients and benefits not directly or substantially attributable to meats. Green peas, for instance, per serving are high in protein, more than a cup of milk, covers more than 25% of average daily fiber and are also a good source of minerals, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, copper and manganese and several other vitamin A, B, C, K, thiamine requirements. A large egg by comparison may deliver approximately 8 grams of protein and attributes to bad cholesterol. General manufacturing processes, infrastructure technology development, energy consumption waste management footprint, quality control operating procedures variables, source to table logistics, progressively and cumulatively impact environment, product consistency deterioration and increased persistently occurring pollutants toxicity potential. Further, the presence of preservatives and other value-added components, sweeteners, salts, 
black pepper, exotic sauces, etc. Designed to improve flavor, shelf life, and or market share. Actually nullifies basic nutrition potential and presents cumulative compromises to bodily functions, exacerbating healthcare complexities across generations. Choice and dependence on the natural life cycle, as opposed to artificial sources from a nutritional standpoint, is conclusively most practical and productive. Remember, the very best thing to do for teeth is to provide them with something good to eat.